do we really talk with homeless people, what mm -hmm. they want and who they are? And, or do we put them all in one box and say, okay, you're homeless, so this is the solution? If the people in that box of what is normal don't want to invest in the, the people who are social excluded, they will never come to that box of normal. They, so the socially excluded will yeah. never come inside that box? Yeah, because we don't invest financially. Um, I think it starts with financially and don't give them the things maybe that they need. But we don't know. And why don't we know? Because we, we, we don't... Do we ask? Do we really ask what they, they need to... Do they want to be in exclusion? Do they want to um, be outside of the box? Or what, what do they want? What are their needs? Do we ask that or just assume? Tell me, what's the difference between a political campaign and the war campaign of a would-be king? I've heard it suggested that the homeless themselves are more responsible, if not solely responsible, for being where they are. In fact, that's a big part in New York City specifically. It's a big part of why nobody helps them because people say, well, they shouldn't have gotten there. They, it's their fault. What we have to realize is that over time, the modalities of power have changed while power itself has not. Those in the power structure are taken care of, while those on the outside are marginalized by a process known as social exclusion. People often don't realize just how much they participate in the power structure that enables social exclusion. I think that what you see with those problems like homelessness, or I think with a lot of things like addiction, things like that, um, it's from generation on generation. And then we can blame the individual, but if we never uh, invested in um, changing these family uh, habits, patterns, things like that, how can people know? Then we can say, okay, you're responsible for your own uh, actions and process. Yeah, that's true in a way, but if we never give people the resources, the mm. knowledge, how can they know? I really mm -hmm. believe, and I think that's with domestic violence, if you grew up in a family where domestic violence is, we uh, say on a weekly basis, maybe on a daily basis, that is something that you know. And nobody showed you the picture, the family life, how it can be different. So how can we know? How can we do it differently? Because I think that a lot of research shows that victims of uh, domestic violence will be the one who um, commit the domestic violence years later in their relationship or one or a form of aggression because we just don't know mm. and I think we can say you're to blame but maybe we as a society are to blame to say okay but we need to invest where it starts to invest in the families in the individual uh, person to show them, hey, there's much more. What we know, what the world knows about New York City is Fifth Avenue, money, <laughs> trends, great stuff, you know, the, the rich things. And of course I know that, uh, that, that that are homeless people, but then I think we always think about the guys on the corner of the street. And this article was really, it was it, it, heavy. Like, okay, this is a family in a shelter but so unsafe and dirty and, and, and a girl is hungry. This is New York. And it's not like one case. Because that's what I try to explain to everybody. This is just one case. And what I work with is, these are this was Dasani, but then older. That are 18, 19 year olds Dasanis who grew up and now are in a shelter themselves or sometimes with a baby. Um, and I think that the world doesn't realize that. I think it's cultural because we are a country that I think 
we are very open and we are, you, you know, like the, the gay parade and the legal uh, same-sex marriages. That is, that's, for me, I'm 31, it's, that was never like, oh, shocking. What I still see here in America, that that is still shocking. Uh, same with the drugs and the prostitution. There are things that are, that, that in the Netherlands, we are very open, we are very flexible, we are very free. Uh, and I think our whole um, social system is like that, that, okay, you can be who you want. I always say it's like, it's in this box. Everything what you do within these, uh, this is the law. <laughs> Everything what you do within there, that's fine. That's you and that's fine. What are the effects of being socially excluded? What would be needed to make our civilization a true egalitarian society? What are the barriers, the hidden barriers? Who defines the line between the strata? Is there a vested interest? Although I don't know what normal is, but I think that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we label things that are not within that box that we call normal is insane. The problem, strange, I think that's, that's what we do.